guess what? Today we're gonna check out how to create some text animation. Hey everyone, gather round, take your place. I've got text animation, text down to win any game. I'm stepping into a world with text that felicity flows. Dress up your words, watch as your creativity grows. While you're at it, did you know that you could win a Fuji film camera? All you need to do is to create a video using the new LUTs in Femora and post on social media with the hashtag FemoraVisual. Don't forget to check it out. All right, dive right in. Let's start with something stylish yet simple. The clipping mask animation. First, let's open Femora 13. I am going to create a default title on the timeline. Place it on the third track. But why third track? Don't worry, we will be explaining that very soon. Now, let's change the text. I want the clipping mask to say pop. So I'm going to change this text to P and create a text clip for rest of the letters. Place them on the fourth and fifth video track. Remember to keep all the text in white color. Quickly keyframe the animation of the letters. And of course, add the curve to make the animation more natural. When the texts are ready, let's go to the stock media tab, find and place the black solid color onto the second video track, right below the text. Now, let's select all the clips. Right click to make a compound clip. Change the blend mode of the compound clip to multiply in the settings window. Then, let's place the background clip in the first video track and press play. Ta-da! We just finished the clipping mask animation. When making a short, it's always good to add captions to your video. Imagine you are not wearing your headphones. How would you know what I'm talking about now? First, create all the captions in Femora quickly. I'll also change the text style to this preset here. Move them all to about here in the frame. Okay, it's time to go to the settings to change the in and out animation. Set the animation in to wavy appearance in and animation out to disappear verbatim. Then apply the animation to all the clips. Now go to the top left transition panel, search for start zoom transition and drag and drop it in between the caption clips. And voila, the captions animation is done. Last but not least is this super cool animation. Let's go. First, let's create a title with colored background. I'm going to select the default text title again. Adjust the scale and position of this title. Shorten the clip if needed. Then go to the settings to turn on the background option. I'm going to select color fill and this color. Adjust the other settings as needed. Then we can move on to animate the text title. Go to the video setting tab, open the keyframe panel if you haven't already, set a position keyframe at the beginning of the clip, and set a new keyframe after 10 frames. Now let's adjust the position of the first keyframe to off screen on the right, like this. Add curve to the first keyframe, then create another keyframe in the end of the clips. Move to the left for 10 frames and add one last keyframe. Make sure the very last keyframe has the title off frame on the left side. Then add the curve to the last keyframe. Now duplicate the text four times on the track on top of each other. Try to have the text clips appear eight frames later than the previous one. Oops, we see that all the text clips are covering each other. So let's go into the keyframe settings to adjust the Y axis to make sure the texts are next to each other in all the keyframes. Zoom in from the viewer if you need any detailed adjustments. Lastly, to add some movements within the text, let's add some effects to them. Make each text title into its own compound clip. Right-click and select Create Compound Clip. Go to the Effect tab, find the video effects, then Flicker. Drag negative purple to each compound clip. You can also choose other effects if you want to. Now let's play back the animation. It feels like we're missing something. How about adding an overlay to it? Let's add a retro noise overlay to the timeline. Mmm, looks pretty good. As we close this up, remember in your hands the rest to shape to mold to create in pursuit of your quest. Hit that like, subscribe, or join us as we both get creative. See you next time.